Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up a Xbox 360 or a Xbox One controller to your Windows machine so you can use it on the EPSXE emulator. So let me just show you the controller. So you should be seeing the controller round about now. So I've got a Xbox One controller. This is actually one from the launch of Xbox back in 2013. That matters because if you've got a newer controller, which is 2016 onwards, if you bought a newer controller, not only have they fixed this issue, this is a side note, where you can't actually like properly press it in like that. You have to do it with some more tool on the edge. But ignoring that, the newer ones actually have Bluetooth built in, whereas these ones to sync it wirelessly you need this special adapter which you have to buy separately and you know it's not like two quid or anything it's pretty expensive but the new ones is just bluetooth so i'm just going to show you how to do it if you want the newer one so what you would do is go on to bluetooth and i don't actually have bluetooth but i'm going to show you the general place where you would do it and then you go to add bluetooth device and then you would put this in syncing mode by keeping this button press right here and then we've got syncing mode when she starts flashing pretty fast that means it's in syncing mode then you would go to bluetooth i haven't got bluetooth but your device would appear here you select it if it asks you for a code just put in four zero so zero 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 and you know connect that's how you would do it if you had um, turn the controller off now okay so that's how you would do it if you was using a newer controller and if you want to do it via wire so if you have a wired version then you literally can only use the wire. If you have an Xbox 360 controller, you can either have a wired version or you can you know, have a special adapter, but none of them actually had Bluetooth. So those are the only options you have. So let me just show you what you would do with this. Actually, I'll, I'll show you this and I'll do the wired one last. And then for this, you just connect this up. Then you keep this pressed till this goes into syncing mode. Then you turn this on, put this into syncing mode. Okay, just waiting for it to connect. And it should go solid in a second. Oh no, this has stopped sinking. Let me try it again. There we go. Okay, so that's connected now. And let's see if it actually appears in over here. Uh, so, so the wireless adapter has been detected. So that's how you do it via you know the wireless adapter. And I'm going to turn it off by keeping this pressed. Just want to show you know all the different options. I'll disconnect this and I'll connect it via a wire now. And the last option is just connect it via a wire, like so. And that's it. Obviously, the wired option is the easiest. And you know, the Xbox controllers work great out of the box for pretty much everything. And actually, I also want to quickly one check one thing make sure I'm not recording the desktop audio because I had a little problem before. Uh, you could hardly hear me. And okay, close this down. Now let's just launch up EPSXE. I'm going to go to config, game pads, port one. You know, feel free to do one for port two as well if you've got multiple pads. Go to here. And now we just literally need to map it. So if you want to be able to map, map the analog sticks as well, you need to go to this, go to do analog, and then you can map it. But I just need the digital, that is fine. So let's start with R2. So if I click this, and uh, that was that then. Let's do R1. Okay, that is B6 and triangle. Um, okay, so I'm actually gonna go to default 
and show you that it is detecting all of them because the when I did it for the what's it called the PS4 controller, I used X input, so we basically mapped it almost the same. Uh, there we go. We do Y as triangle, circle, X square. Let's do the other side now. Okay, so up. left, down and right. Now let's just do select, we will put out this one and start on this button here. That's it, click OK. And now let's run a game and show you it working. I'm gonna run Crash Bandicoot with my go-to game. And I'm gonna click escape so I can load a state up because I already have one state. Turn the volume down a bit. So as you can see, it is all working fine. And I'll try and get the level complete. Oops. And I'll see the triangle does that. But that's it. If you want to quit the video, you know, stop it. You can stop it now because literally I've done the setup and playing a bit of Crash Bandicoot now. And you don't need, really need to watch this unless you want to. But it's all set up to go now. So it's the same process after you've connected the controller for an Xbox One controller in wired mode, whether that's you just connecting a micro USB cable or whether it's and you can use any cable. I'm using the one that comes with it. So it's my go-to micro USB cable because it's like super long and you know pretty good quality. And yeah, so if you want to do wired option or just a wired controller, then obviously the wired controller has to be wired. Or you can go to the wireless option. If you have an old Xbox One controller, then you'll need the extensive Microsoft adapter. And if you have a new controller from 2016 onwards, you can literally just map it via bluetooth obviously you've got to make sure you have bluetooth as uh, this is a custom build computer never actually added a bluetooth dongle everything that i always bought that was wireless already had their own dongles yep there we go let's go around and collect everything else and then we'll come back and get the gem yep throw that in literally did forget this time video that I did last for connecting the PS4 controller I remembered but I forgot to not I remembered but I let me make sure I've got this box remember they were there but they did at the wrong point this time I literally just forgot and uh, make sure every box is done yeah that's all done now and like I said you could quit the video right now if you wanted to you'd be all good to go Obviously, this game doesn't use you know any of these buttons, but you know they're all mapped, so you can use them if you need to. There we go, and we should have him say da da da. So that's it. That's how you connect up your any Xbox controller in, to your Windows machine, so you can use it on the EPSXE emulator. That's it. Any questions, feel free to pop me a message.